Look, my guy, it is summer, which means, yo, the bot needs to come out. I don't want you at the beach wearing a t-shirt. Look, people only do that when they don't want to show the goods. I want you to show the goods. See, I'm going to get you there. And today, I'm going to show you everything you need to do every single day to get a six-pack. Let's hop into this. Number one and most important to understand is that you already have a six-pack. See, we all do. You got one. I got one. The problem is that you can't see it, which is why you need to be in a caloric deficit. This is your first step. See, on average, to lose about one pound of fat, you need to be at, a, at about a 3,500 caloric deficit, which basically means that if your body is burning 2,000 calories daily, you need to be consuming 1,500 calories daily, which is about 500 calories less a day. If you multiply that for seven days, that's your 3,500, and within one week, you'll lose about a pound. Now, this is healthy weight loss, and what you want to get to is about 15% body fat. Once you get there, that's when the six-pack starts showing. Number two, give your body the fuel it needs. See, the right vitamins, the right minerals, the right proteins, the right carbs. See, all of this is important. You have to see your body as a machine. When you fuel it with the right ingredients, what ends up happening is that you're optimizing the machine so it can repair that torn muscle that you should be training and also increase your metabolic rate, which will make your fat burning process more efficient. Now, your vitamins, your minerals, all this stuff, you should be consuming this in your diet. But I'm going to ask you a real question. When was the last time you had a serving of vegetables? Real question. I guarantee you, like 80% of you can't remember the last dish you had with a healthy serving of vegetables, which means you're probably vitamin deficient in several vitamins, and this is where supplements come in. I've told you this time and time again. I love taking my multivitamin. The one that I take is from our sponsor, Ritual, and I do this daily. And that's because, like you, I sometimes don't have all the vitamins I need in my diet, and that's where a multivitamin supplement like this one from Ritual kicks in. See, a multivitamin like this, it helps support heart health. It helps support normal muscle function and normal immune function. A tiny step like this every single day can have a huge impact. What I love about Ritual is that it's transparent. You go to the site, you see exactly what is in every single pill. For example, the one that I take, it has 10 essential vitamins and nutrients, and you get Get that all in one single capsule. And like I said, it's traceable. Like go to the site and see it. You can see even where they're sourcing the ingredients from. So you know it's sourced from a high quality region. And they're non-GMO, they're vegan friendly, they're gluten free. These are top of the line vitamins. And the great part is that Ritual is a subscription based program where you can easily pause it whenever you want. And for about a dollar a day, you get high quality supplements delivered right to your door. And on top of that, they're gonna hook it up. Actually, for you guys watching this right now, they're giving you a 10% off discount for your first three months. If you guys click the link down below or go to ritual.com slash TMF10, you're gonna be able to check it out, add it to your regimen so you can start intaking it every day. If you guys wanna check out Ritual, click that link down below. Number three, I want you to modify and not overhaul. See, the biggest mistake most guys make when they want a six pack or lose weight is that they'll completely overhaul how they live and how they eat and they go on this intensive diet that is not only restrictive and probably borderline painful, but because it's so restrictive, it becomes easy to stop it. It becomes easy to fail it and then never come back to it. I want you to modify instead. In other words, I don't want you to drastically change your life, but instead change one thing at a time. For example, one of the easiest ones that I tell people to do is cut out sugary drinks. If you're used to always drinking cans of soda and orange juice and just all types of sugary drinks, make a commitment that for one week, you're gonna replace that with water. Every drink that you drink will be water instead of something sugary. Each can alone, is about 160 calories. Say you have three sugary drinks a day, that's your 500 calorie deficit already just by making that switch to water. And then everything else that you do, I want you to eat the same way and live the same way. What ends up happening is these small micro adjustments become much more manageable. They're easier to do and therefore easier to adapt on a long term. See, once you do that for a few weeks, then you can make another small change, like your vegetables. Say you never eat vegetables. Well, make a commitment that for at least 
one meal a day, you're gonna have a healthy serving of greens, whatever green it is. Those type of small modifications make a better long-term impact to your health and to helping you shed and keep the weight off so your abs can actually show. Number four, train them. See, this is at the end of my list because believe it or not, the most important part or, or, or concussion for your abs is the first part being healthy and eating healthy. The next part is equally as important, but most people overly focus this part and just train abs thinking that they're just gonna come out. See, abs, they're just like any other muscle, so you do need to work them out. They're gonna get bigger, and as the fat sheds, the little squares that you want so much, yeah, they're gonna protrude more. They're gonna be more defined. This is important. Now, the great thing with abs is that you don't need equipment. You don't need any heavy machinery, you don't need weights, and just your body is enough. And most of the times, a quick five to 10 minute session will be enough to get the burn that you need, and you can do daily from the comfort of your home. Matter of fact, I would suggest you guys watch this video where I did a 10 minute ab workout that I was doing during quarantine. The thing is a killer, and I promise you, it's gonna bring you to your knees. And finally, number five, don't just train abs. I know, counterintuitive, because the video is how to get your abs, but the truth is that building muscle is the most important part for burning fat. If you wanna get rid of fat, you need to start working on building more muscle and not just on your core. See, if you start implementing compound lifts, like your overhead press, your bench press, your squat, your deadlifts, these complex movements use multiple muscle groups, especially the strengthening of your core as you implement these into your regimen. The biggest mistake I see guys making is thinking that if they do heavy cardio and a lot of running, they're gonna burn the fat and get the abs to show. And while yes, you probably could get there, there are more effective pathways which will get you to where you want to be quicker. Building muscle is way more effective at burning fat and getting your abs to show. This is why you want to implement these heavy lifts into your regimen. You want to lift weights at least three times a week and don't just solely focus on doing abs every single day because that will have diminishing returns. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Ritual. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.